You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General of Ourself, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the 17th day of April 2024, and our topic for today is Divine Favor. Let us pray. Our faithful Father, we worship you, King of Glory, we give you thanks. Thank you for how you have kept us, you have preserved us, you have provided for us, you have shown us your great mercy and we have enjoyed your grace. We thank you for the privilege to be before you again. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would speak to us your word today and you would cause our ears not only to hear, but you would help our hearts also to obey. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23 reads, And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor, and full with the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23. Our text for today is from the book of Esther chapter 2. We would be reading now from verse 12 to verse 18. Esther chapter 2, reading from verse 12 to verse 18 reads, And when every maid's turn was come to go in to King Ahasuerus, after that she had been twelve months according to the manner of the women, for so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the women. Then thus came every maiden unto the king, whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned into the second house of the women, to the custody of Shazgaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Now, when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required nothing but what Haggai the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Tibet in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Then the king made a great feast unto all his princes and his servants, even Esther's feast, and he made a release to the provinces and gave gifts according to the state of the king. Esther chapter 2, reading from verse 12 to verse 18. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Our topic for today once more is divine favor. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that when you hear the expression, God is smiling on you, it means you are enjoying divine favor and grace. In Numbers chapter 6, from verse 24 to 26, God said that the sons of Aaron were to pronounce a blessing on the people, and the blessing went thus, The Lord bless thee, and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. When God's face is shining upon you, it means the Lord is smiling upon you, and you will enjoy divine favor everywhere you go. It also means that every darkness around you will be consumed, 
and you will be basking in his light. When God decides to show you favor, you will achieve more than somebody who is working extremely hard without divine favor. When God shows you favor, miracles happen. For example, Genesis chapter 24 verse 63 says that Isaac went for a stroll and in the 67th verse of the same chapter, the Bible says, And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah and she became his wife and he loved her and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. All the background work in getting Isaac a wife was done by some other people. When you compare Isaac's experience to that of Jacob who labored for 14 years without pay before he could get the woman he wanted to marry, you will see the difference between favor and hard labor to get what you want. I decree that from now on, God will show you favor. Not long ago, all the universities in Nigeria were ranked, and Redeemer's University came second. The first was the University of Ibadan, the oldest university in Nigeria, founded in 1948. Redeemer's University was only 17 years old at that time, and we beat universities that were more than 60 years old. How could this be? The only explanation can be divine favor. The question now is, what can you do to always enjoy divine favor? You can find a good answer to this question in Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 3 to 4, which says, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. To draw God's favor to yourself, always tell the truth and show mercy to others. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today is divine favor. You would agree with me that life is quite hard for any fellow who does not have favor at work in his or her life. When you have to work for everything you get, when you have to merit everything that comes into your life, when you have to pay for everything that you desire in life, you will notice that although you are working extremely hard, there is not much to show for your efforts. Favor lets us get that which we labor for and we deserve. It also lets us obtain that which mercy alone can let us have. Favor can shorten a journey of many years to make the desired results come speedily and with less stress. Favor can open doors that has been shut for others. Favor can make you enjoy privileges that will leave you amazed. It can make your life become enviable and a wonder to many who know your story. It is even more interesting to note that today's study is not just talking about favor. Today's study tells us about divine favor. Divine favor is the kind of favor that has God and the whole of heaven backing you up. Divine favor is such that when it is at work in your life, even you cannot explain the kind and the quality of results that your life produces. All you will be able to say and explain will be, God did it. In today's study, our Father in the Lord shows us a clear example of divine favor. Scripture makes us understand that Jacob had to suffer 14 years of very hard labor to get his desired wife, while Isaac, his son, got his own wife by divine favor. When divine favor is at work in a man's life, even those who consider themselves his enemies will suddenly find themselves coordinating and even contributing to the grand success of the one who has found favor. Scripture tells us in Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7 that when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. We see a practical manifestation of this in Exodus chapter 3 verse 21, which reads, And I will give the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. This was talking about the children of Israel when they were going to leave Egypt. 
we learn from today's study that we can enjoy divine favor consistently without fail and the key that unlocks that realm is showing mercy and telling the truth. I would like us at this point to bow our heads and ask the Lord would say, Father, please replace every struggle in my life today with divine favor in the name of Jesus. You don't necessarily have to struggle for everything in life. God can give to you divine favor and ease. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please shower your divine favor upon my life. Let me enjoy both merited and unmerited favor. Let your favor speak for me in places where my voice may not be able to get to. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, let struggle cease in my life today and let your divine favor take over in the name of Jesus. Also tell the Lord today, say, Father, let divine favor locate me. Let it elevate me and give me a brand new story in Jesus' name. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, let your divine favor transform my life. Let those who have known me return and say, we have known you before, but this is a brand new you in the name of Jesus. Let divine favor rewrite my story. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, in everything I do, let divine favor speak for me. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, let the works of my hands experience the touch of divine favor. Ask him today for an experience of increase on all sides in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let divine favor touch the works of my hands. Let it rub off on the works of my hands. Let me enjoy great increase. Let my testimony be loud and let it bring you glory in the name of Jesus. Remember, we also mentioned that divine favor can hasten your blessing to your direction. Tell the Lord today, say, Father, let divine favor shorten time for me and make me enjoy speedy manifestations of my blessings in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that divine favor will fast forward our blessings and all that rightfully belongs to us in the name of Jesus. We receive accelerated progress. We declare that our lives begin to produce great tangible and undeniable results in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord upon our lives will remain undeniable. Begin to bless the name of the Lord as you bring your prayers to a close. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, our gracious Redeemer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our faithful God, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you for launching us into the realm of divine favor. We are asking today that you would help us to continue to enjoy divine favor continuously in the name of Jesus. Grant us the grace today to walk in truth and to always show mercy. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point in today's study that tells us always tell the truth and be merciful. We receive the grace today to always be by the side of truth and to show mercy at all times in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 2 Kings chapter 1 down to chapter 3. We are also sincerely appreciating you and thanking you for always joining us. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 19 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing rock of ages cleft for me as you go forth today may divine favor be at work in your life and may the results that it produce be undeniable have a wonderful day ahead see you tomorrow again by god's grace we love you and bye for now
I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.